This mini tip will walk you through how to import data into Design Expert or Statis 360. This is a handy tool when you have data that you need to analyze, but the design was not originally built in the DOE software. Let's start by organizing your data. It will work best if the data is in the same order as a traditional DOE layout. Put the factor columns on the left and put the response columns on the right. Now you are ready to import the data. First, select and copy your data, including all the factors and all the response columns. Then click on import data set and paste from clipboard. This will import your raw data. Then you have to identify the informational rows and your factors and responses. So start by right-clicking on the rows to assign them as names and units, and then right-click on the columns to identify them as your factors or responses or blocks, uh, et cetera. When you're done, you can click finish and your data will be entered as a design. I am going to demonstrate this for you now. Here is a Excel spreadsheet that has uh, two factors and two responses. Uh, notice that I have a column for run numbers. I am actually going to ignore that column. I don't need it. Uh, the software will assume that your order is um, in sequential order. I am going to copy the information that I want to import. And then I'm going to pull up Design Expert and I'm going to choose this button down here, the third one that says Import Data. Then I'm gonna click Paste from Clipboard. Okay, notice at the top there are instructions and instruction number three says, right click to delete any extra rows of data. So I can right click and I can and delete things. Uh, and right click on column headers to define the properties. I am going to start by right clicking on this first row and say use row as names. And then I'm gonna right click on the second row and say use row as the units. So I have my factors and my responses. However, the software doesn't know which are factors and responses yet, so you'll have to tell it. I'm going to right click on this first column header, set the column type to a numeric factor. Same with the second one. And then the, the other two are responses. Now for any of these, you can actually um, do a click, shift click and um, assign multiple columns at the same time. So I've selected both of my response columns. I'm gonna set the column type to response. And so I can do that conveniently all at once. So I could have done my factors all at once also. Now I'm gonna click the finish button and you can see that it now assigns the first two as factors, the second two as my responses, and I could proceed with an analysis. So that is a quick demo of the import data feature. If you need other mini tips or other uh, webinars on topics, I encourage you to go to our Stadies YouTube channel. It's called Stadies Made Easy or Statistics Made Easy by Stadies. Look for the academic cor corner for a special selection of uh, webinars or any of the other playlists that we have provided. Thank you for listening today. If you have more questions, you may email stathelp at stadies.com. Thank you.